the most expensive, <clears throat> the most expensive ticket to salvation. This is a clip from Men of Valor channel. Giving all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone. Shallow warm to the hopeful leg. Let's go to the clip. Get the ticket. You speak for God, but what? You're not speaking prophecy. That's why these people don't understand prophecy. I believe that's Revelation 19 and 10. The spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. They don't speak about prophecy in these churches. All they speak about is God loves everybody. God loves everybody. He's going to save you. He's going to save the white man. He's going to save the China man. He's going to save everybody. Pretty sure. Mm -hmm. That's because they ultimately don't understand prophecy because they don't have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 7. It says, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Right, right, because the Lord hasn't given you the spirit of truth. Mm -hmm. You see, you can learn. We, we used to do that all the time. We used to study, learn, do all these different things, but we didn't get nowhere with it. Until the Lord put the spirit of truth in us, then now everything we did had to be around truth. How do I get to that truth? Everything has to go back to the truth. That's the only thing that matters, you know? So you do everything to go back to that truth, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. This is... Uh, the book of John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another comforter, that he may abide with you forever, even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. Cool. So it's a spirit. That's why not everyone can be saved, because you have to have the spirit to be saved. That's right. You see what I'm saying? I gave this example yesterday about all the labor that we're doing is not really for the kingdom, because the kingdom is a gift that the Lord has given us. We can't work for that. There's no, that's why, hey, there's a precept that says it that we're going to be like, damn, like all this stuff, for, for, for what we did, damn, yeah. Father, this, this, this is not, this not right. It's not worthy to be compared. You see? So our labor is really to get that, 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 that ticket onto the chariot, because think about it. You know, let's just say there was a flood and you knew that, yo, there's going to be a flood in the next six months. Every day you wake up, you're working hard because you know the ticket. I want to get on one of those ships that's going to get out of here. So I'm working my ass off every single day so I can make enough money so I can purchase a ticket. So when the time comes, I know I have a ticket and I have a seat. I'm good to go. Like in the movie 2012? 2012. 2012. Giant. Exactly. Arch. You know? So right now in this in this reality that we're in, we understand that America is going to be destroyed. Whether you want to hear it or not, it doesn't matter. Okay? This is a prophecy. America will be destroyed by fire. End the story. Okay? Now it's just a matter of time before you bring that out. So knowing this, knowing, like it tells you in Second Peter, all right, knowing that all the elements shall melt with fervent heat, what manner of persons we ought to be in? All right. Right? The manner of way, and uh, was it uh, um, anastrophe? Yeah, conversation. Right. The, the matter of way, the way, way you life. move, the way of life. You have to seek that, that ticket. And what is that ticket? That, that's that faith that's going to get you onto the chariot if you're part of the elect. See, now that's the only way out of here. So if I'm you, guess what? I'm doing everything I can to purchase that. This is the most expensive ticket ever. That's it. And you have to purchase it with your life. You can't purchase it with money. All these rich people, what they, you think they're going to go on a chariot? Unless they're part of the elect. So you can have billions and trillions. Is that going to get you on the chariot? Yes or no? So you're chasing after riches and money and all that. Are you going to get on the chariot? Yes or no? The answer is no. So if you simplify like that, then yo, you have to be rich in faith. You have to be of the elect for you to purchase that ever precious ticket onto that chariot. That's the only way you're going to be saved. So if you think of it like that, then it's like, oh, okay. You got to change your whole outlook on things. Then you're required to be spiritual because now you know, damn, it's one ship coming. Not everyone is going to make it onto that ship. So now where's all that everyone's going to be saved shit? Where are you going to be saved at? There's no, it's not enough seats for you. So now you have to strive so you can get on that seat. All that Christianity talk, guess what? You're going to be standing back. You're going to be seeing the missiles coming. You're going to be seeing brothers and sisters getting beamed up. And you're going to stand there and wish you would have listened to the truth. Because you always heard it. You just despise it because it requires you to change. And you don't want to do that. Go ahead. This is Predict this lesson be edifying to the whole filet. And those seeking the truth, shallow one.